it's me Naja from NajaDiamond.com and I am coming to you today with a nighttime uh, New York Fashion Week inspired party look and I'm going to be using mostly uh, Fashion Fair cosmetics uh, for this eye look. Um, okay guys so we're just gonna jump right in we're gonna get started with our foundation I am using my favorite for the moment you guys know it's it is the Kat Van D lock it tattoo foundation in the color deep I have already moisturized and primed my face so I'm just gonna throw this on with a beauty blender I'm gonna go ahead and use the back side of it and use gentle patting motions I am fast forward here so it doesn't look that gentle but yep just use the patting motions then for a little bit more coverage I'm gonna go in with my my MAC um, concealer um, to cover up any spots that I might have. Then I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids with this Ruby Kisses um, eyeshadow primer. Then for our base, you guys, we're going to go in with the uh, Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo shadow in Tenacious Teal. And this is just like a gel kind of almost like a gel eyeliner anyway I'm going to use this brush by Real Techniques and apply that all over the lid um, this is just going to be the base for our eyeshadow colors then with a the flat shader brush probably from like Coastal Scent somewhere I'm going to go in with Indigo from Fashion Fair Cosmetics it is just a really beautiful deep cobalt almost navy blue color and I'm just going to pack that on with uh, packing motions here I'm not going to really swipe too much um, when I do bring it up into the crease that's when I'm going to kind of uh, swipe it a little bit and blend it out now I'm going to go in with our Naked palette from Urban Decay um, I'm going to use Buck for my transition color and I'm using a 217 brush from MAC love this brush we're just going to go ahead and blend out those edges of the blue and bring it into our crease and a little bit on the outer V as well um, to deepen up the outer corner here in a minute I'm going to go in with dark horse from the same palette and just use that to kind of deepen out the outer V and smoke out the look a little bit but yeah buck is my favorite transition color it's just a really beautiful color for my skin tone um, go ahead with Dark Horse and just pat that on the outer edges like I am doing so. And start off with a little bit because you can always build the color up. It's really hard to kind of take it away once you've put too much on. But again, this is a night look so kind of have fun with it. You can go as dark or as bold as you really want to. Um, then I'm just going to go ahead and line the eyes using a gel liner from Wet n Wild and this is a liner brush from the Sonia Kashuk 15th anniversary brush set. You guys, I was so excited when I got my hands on this brush set. It's a beautiful brush set. Anyway, for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the Sephora um, 20, 12 hour waterproof crayon. This is in Girls Night Out and it is just a beautiful gold color. It's going to be the base for our uh, Fashion Fair uh, Pure Indigo. I'm sorry pure gold color um, and I'm going to use that with a small shade uh, smudger brush and just go ahead and apply that eyeshadow color right over top of the eyeliner I just laid down this is just going to ensure that it is you know very pigmented and it stays a lot longer then with our fashion fair bold lash mascara in black we're going to go ahead and go ahead and um, hit those upper lashes and then with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, I'm going to actually do the bottom lash line. But be careful um, with your lower lash line. That's why I use a smaller brush for this area. And then with the black um, eyeliner, I'm just going to go ahead and line the bottom lash line as well as the tight line, which is like the upper um, line, lash line. Then I'm going in with Milani's uh, Runway Eyes Bronze Doll is the color that I'm using and this color is gorgeous wet but I didn't use it wet I am using it dry but it just creates a nice little shimmer in the inner tear duct and then I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 to kind of highlight um, my face and bring a little bit more uh, dimension back I'm going to blend this out with my finger I like the warmth of my finger to kind of blend out and smooth this this color out and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender, which kind of creates that airbrush 
that airbrush finish so I really like the beauty blender for this and of course use it damp you guys do not use a dry beauty blender sponge because it's going to soak up all your product then go ahead and set that I'm using Ben Nye banana powder and as you can see I'm just a lot more highlighted underneath that area then with my ebony bronze um conceal no this is the ebony bronze bronzer from the Queen Collection. Um, I'm going to go ahead and chisel out my face. You saw me doing my nose earlier. Then I'm just going to go ahead and do the cheeks and my temples. Um, and this brush is from Real Techniques. And then we're going to use blush. I don't remember the name of this blush, but I will leave it down below. Make sure you check out that area. This is Gold, Bo uh, Gold Deposit from MAC. Love this highlight. It's just a really gorgeous um, highlight to give you a nice glow and shimmer um, as you can see I am a fan um, and then you guys I'm gonna go ahead and use lace from Fashion Fair Cosmetics this is just a beautiful pinky nude um, for women of color love it topped off with natural from NYX and you guys this is going to be it I actually did apply lashes and then I applied applied a setting spray um but other than that that is it and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video guys bye